All right, I am back in the old office again. A brand new plug there. Took care of that. And I'll show you here the old one up here on top of my desk. Get my flashlight away there. You can see the old one here. You can see where it burned out there. And I figured out what the problem was. Um, this one here, I cut above where it was burned and charred right there. I just cut it off. But both of them were in the back thing here, um, which I heard an electrician say, I was watching some instructional videos, and they said this is called, nicknamed it, uh, backstabbing. It's a quicker way to do it than to actually wrap it around the little screws here on the sides. And so um, that was the way it was. And um, sticking up pretty good like that. So, you know, dust gets in there and whatever else, and it starts to get a little bit loose and that's what happens right there that burning area up top there um, you can see again it's charred right there right here so not so good but um, I'm gonna go into the I have this one here I'll show you actually what happened when I took this one apart and then we'll come back and I'll show you the rest here all right you can see the bad situation here this one that's where I had my computer plugged in. I noticed it was fell a little bit loose. I went to take the cover off, and the plug, the part of the plug there, fell off. But this is the problem here that I've found at this place. They do. I learned this term. It's called uh, backstabbing, where you put the this breakers off, by the way. But um, you put the wires in the back like that instead of on the sides. And so this one was working, no problems, but it's not really the right way to do it. It's kind of the rushed way to do it. So then I have to replace this one quick here. So, and yeah, there you have it. The removable, you know, receptacle thing there. Um, there's no charring or anything in there that I can see, but uh, probably not far from going to be charred. You know, so thankfully that one's done now, and um, most of the other outlets I know of in the area or in the old office here are pretty good, but these ones are both going into the trash. So always some kind of a project to do here at the office. Thank you to everybody out there for your suggestions of needing me needing to replace them, and it's not that hard of a job and whatever. Not really a hard job. <clears throat> but um, one I don't really like. The one time I was working at uh, uh, my parents' house and uh, they had bought a place and we were in there fixing things up and the, there was one where the the box or whatever that these outlets go in wasn't really securely fastened to the wall stud and so I went to push this thing in. I went to put the cover on it and it kind of sunk back in a little bit. So not thinking to smartly I reached in like this to grab it on either side like this and went to pull it out and, and my fingers touched and got a pretty good you know zap from that and uh, so I'm just a little bit gun shy when it comes to uh, electrical type of stuff I've done plumbing work and things before in terms of fixing my own plumbing um, but you can't really get shocked from plumbing <laughs> electricity yeah I'm not real keen on that I've put lights in I've you know done some basic home wiring stuff but uh glad that this is done and hopefully it will last a little while longer so that will be it thank you for watching